Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and today I want to talk to you about my export settings that I use whenever I'm rendering out 1080p videos in Premiere Pro. In my first video, I talked about my 4K export settings. So if you're somebody like me that shoots in 4K and then wants to upload to YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook or give 4K videos to clients, that is a video that you want to watch because I go into great detail all about my 4K settings. This video is going to be about 1080p, and it's also going to be shorter because I'm just going to really give you the settings with a little explanation. I'm not going to go into in-depth. This is the reason that I chose all of these settings like I did in the 4K video. So if there's a setting that you're confused about and you're like, hey, Matt didn't explain why he chose this, go and watch the 4K video, which has a lot of similar steps and settings, and you're going to see me explain why I did that. So that video was about exporting to 4K. This video here is about exporting to 1080p, and I have another video coming out very soon that's about exporting to Instagram. Lastly, if you're more of a reader than a watcher, in the description below, I'm going to include a link to my website, whoismat.com, where I'm going to have step-by-step -step articles with pictures detailing all of my export settings. So if you would rather read than watch, that is a definite option for you. But if you want to watch and stick around, let's talk about how to export 1080p video using Premiere Pro. All right, guys, welcome to Premiere Pro. So you can follow along. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro version 2017.0.2. So if things look a little different because you're using an earlier, later version, this is the version I'm using just for your reference. You'll notice here first in the project window, I have a video file that I shot with my A7S II on a family cruise. And the frame rate is 23.976 and the video is 1920 by 1080, which is what we're gonna be exporting today. So pretend that I've edited a whole video and that we're exporting that and not just one clip. But before we talk about exporting, I think it's very important that you consider whenever you are shooting your video, editing your video, and rendering a video that you have the same settings. So ideally you will shoot with a certain frame rate and resolution in your camera, then you will edit at the same frame rate and resolution, and then you will export at the same frame rate and resolution, so that way everything looks good and smooth and as high quality as possible. So with that in mind, I've got this video clip of some seagulls here from our family cruise. They're all in slow motion. They look pretty cool, right? I mean, it's pretty awesome. But we're not here to look at seagulls, we're here to render. So let's create a new sequence that will match up with our video footage. So you can either press Control N or you can go to File, New Sequence, and that's gonna open up the New Sequence dialog box. And if you watch my previous video, we have these presets that I made for 4K video, which is not what we're doing because we're only doing 1080. So let's go up here to Digital SLR preset, 1080p, DSLR 1080p24, which you'll notice here that it matches up with my video info. It's 23.976, it is 1920 by 1080. So this is the sequence preset for Premiere that matches up with the footage that I shot. So we're gonna name this, uh, let's see here, 1080p export test, for example. And click OK. And that's gonna open up a new timeline down here, which is pretty cool. Now let's go over here to our video clip and drag it down to the timeline. And we're gonna pretend that we have already edited this into a beautiful movie and it's not just one clip that we're rendering. Now let's set an in and out point so that Premiere knows when to start the render and when to finish the render. We're going to press I at the start of the video. We're going to go to the end of the video to about the last frame right there. And we're going to press O. And then we are ready to render our video. So you can either press Control M or you can go to File, Export, Media. Either one will bring up the export settings window, which is how we're going to export our video in 1080p. Let's start going through some settings. First off, for format, you want to select H.264. For the preset, you are gonna to wanna to select custom because we're gonna customize this preset to be 1080p. Next, you're gonna have output name, which is where you choose where you wanna save your video, so make sure you select that because there's been times where I forgot to do that and then I'm like searching for the video file, like where did I put it? Make sure you have export video and export audio checks so that you're not dealing with audio being muted, which I've dealt with before. Next, you have summary, which is a great way for you to check your source and make sure that matches your output. And below that, you have effects, video, audio, multiplexer, captions, and the publish tab. You only need to focus on the video and audio tab, nothing else, which is wonderful. On to basic video settings. Now, before I go and change width and height, I need to go down here to profile and change it to high, and I need to change the level to 4.2, which is a good level for 1080p video. So you'll notice here that it automatically changes the width and the height to 1920 by 1080, which is what we want. Next, you need to uncheck the frame rate box and change the frame rate to 23.976 so that it matches up with the source video that I've shot. After that, we're gonna leave field order progressive, aspect ratio, square pixels 1.0 is fine. Everything else here is fine. Check the render at maximum depth box because that's gonna improve your video quality. 
let's go down to bitrate settings. If you want to hear my spiel about bitrate settings, go back and watch my 4K video where I go into far more detail about what this is and why you need to do it. But for now, you have two options. If you are exporting to YouTube and you want extremely high video quality for your uploads at the cost of having a larger file size and a potentially longer upload time, change your bitrate encoding to CBR and change your target bitrate to 40. And this is going to cause your video file to be very large. As you can see, it's 40 megabits per second, but it's already saying that it's going to be 625 megabytes in size. But the benefit is that it is very high quality. If you are exporting your video to give to a client or someone else that's not going to be uploading it, change your bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass, and your target bitrate should be 15, and your maximum bitrate should be 40. That will be plenty for if you are giving to a client or someone and you are not uploading it online. After that, you don't need to mess with keyframe distance and unless your video is VR, which I wish this one was, it'd be really cool, you don't need to mess with any of that. But you do need to make sure that you check the use maximum render quality box because as you see, it gives better quality scaling and can increase your load time. But if you are say shooting a video in 4K and you want to downsize it to 1080p or something like that, then it is very helpful to have maximum render quality check because it will result in a better quality video. Next, the audio tab. As you can see here, we have the audio format is set to AAC, which is what I would recommend. The audio codec is AAC. Sample rate is 48,000 hertz, which matches up with the A7S2's audio recording. Audio quality high, because of course it should be on high. Your bit rate should be set to 320 and your precedence should be bit rate. Once all those settings are saved, you're gonna to wanna to go up here to the little arrow and select save preset. And let's call this preset 1920 by 1080. 23.976, which is the frame rate. And because we chose VBR, we're gonna do VBR 15 comma 40. So that way we know the target bit rate and the max bit rate. Let's go ahead and hit okay. And that's gonna save your preset. So now whenever you choose H.264, you can now just select the preset at the top and you don't have to struggle through like, what was the settings again? It's all saved. And now for any video that you wanna export at 1080p, it's right there for you. After that, all you gotta do is hit Q or render and you're done. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful to you and given you some great insight into how to export awesome 1080p videos using Adobe Premiere Pro, either for YouTube or Vimeo or for any other site for that matter. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave one below or get in touch with me through my website, whoismat.com. It is also a huge help to me if you would consider liking this video and subscribing if you're interested in future filmmaking reviews and tutorials and videos like that. Very last thing I promise, you can check out my wedding film production company, FilmStrong Productions at filmstrong.com. Thanks and have a great day.